Today's review is on the pair of Toyota who took part in the Macau Gua race. Big thanks to Pop Race for sending me this pair of Toyota to review for you. You can find a variety of Pop Race casting in their web store. I'll include the link down in my description and also in the comment section below. Above is the Alteza casting which took part in the Macau Gua race in 2001. And below is the Levine which took part in the race in 1984. Both castings in 1 is to 64 looks very presentable inside the display case. And now let's take a closer look at the Toyota Alteza. On the side, you can see the loud Pop Race logo. It's a collaboration between Pop Race and Inno 64. And on the base, you can see the details for the casting. Wow, very nice and sleek. Looks very presentable. And we can see the Pop Race logo and the Alteza name is engraved on the base. Casting wise, it's ultra realistic. It's just like the real thing. Quality is superb and you can see the advanced livery gels very well with the casting. Really like the application of the sponsor's logo. They are all aligned in place. Realistic wheel sets that goes along with the casting just like the real thing. You can see the Yokohama and Advan logo on the rubber wheels. On the front, love the details on the grille and also on the headlights. Very nicely executed, it's very clean and very sharp. Whole casting is very presentable and it comes in high gloss finish. Very nice details on the interior as well and I totally have no problem going extreme close up. Looks even better out of the base and this will no doubt look superb in diecast photography. Just be very mindful of the hook because it's in 1 ISO 64, it's very fragile. For wheel sets, it can't roll. This is meant for display, for collection and for photography. And the rear is ultra realistic as well, such as the rear lights and the exhaust. Overall, a very nice and realistic Alteza casting with excellent quality control. Next, the Toyota Levine, which took part in the 1984 Macau Guya race. Same pop race logo at the side of the flap. Same brush metal background as the Toyota Alteza. You can see the engraving of Pop Race logo and the name of the casting. The highlight for me is definitely on the wheel sets. It's very nice, very classic, and it fits the Levine perfectly. The 80 sponsors logo are all in place and accurately aligned. A roll cage is also included for the interior. On the rear is ultra detailed. Really love the rear lights. I also take note of the rear hook, it's very fragile because it's built for 1 into 64. You can see the livery is all very carefully applied onto the casting. Definitely the wheel set is the highlight. It's very nice, very awesome. This Levine casting is looking very awesome and will definitely stand out in your collection. Wheel set for Levine hardly rolls as well as this is a model car purely for display and for collection. And if you love nostalgic car, this is definitely the casting for you. More Pop Race unboxing coming. And remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.